Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Stephen Craft Part 2. <laughs> uh, if Part 1 wasn't enough, I decided I would do a Part 2. Um, we have random cows and endermen and all kinds of just stuff running around. <laughs> um, so anyway, let's let's begin. So last time you guys seen it, um, it was a huge disaster. But I fixed a lot of the problems. Um, I finished the temple on top, for example. I built a giant pig. Um, I worked a lot on that on that building. And then if it wasn't enough, like I, I don't know, I probably worked for three days on the damn thing. Never finished it. If it wasn't enough, I built another one and actually finished this one. Um, yeah, it, it took me quite a while. And I, I I think it's like 44 floors. It's one floor shorter than this one. But it's like the main idea of it anyway. Um, and I do have zero intentions on finishing this building. Because I built a giant crane. And it, I think it just looks cool as it's under construction. You know, Built the giant piggy. I already brought that up. But I, I can't get enough of that. It's somewhere. Oh, yep, right there. This is the original pig that w this statue was based off of. He's just sitting here like a badass. <laughs> I haven't named him yet. Should probably do that later. Um, we have like Grand Central Station. Um, and something that you might notice is that the majority of the tracks that were in the air in the last video are now gone. I put them all underground so then that way I wouldn't have to look at them anymore. Um, and I, th I think I benefited quite a bit from that. Like, for example, I'll just show you this one. And I did, I, I don't like to admit this, but I did move away from the idea of not using mods. I used, um, a couple of mods in this whole process because, I mean, the shape of this just looks like there's no way I would have built this by hand. This thing goes on forever. Um, I used... Um, single player commands and that comes with like a brush and stuff and I, I used that to make the hole and you know to to actually just help me out with and the whole lot of the process um, and then the only other thing I use single player commands for is to put this big hole in the ground over here and then other than that I didn't use single player commands after that so I mean I don't know. I only used it for that one thing. And then, I don't know. I tried to make it look natural, but in the end, it just looks like... I don't know. It's hard to describe. But I built this wall. It took forever. Um, and this wall goes all the way around the main area. So it takes a very long, long time to walk around it. I think I timed it one day, and it was something like nine minutes to get back to the original spot. <laughs> from point A to point B. Um, I used another mod, it was called Mine Colony, um, and that was because I was just so tired of working on this. I just needed something to distract my mind for a while, so I did Mine Colony and went off nowhere and and started working, and I think it worked out pretty good. I mean, there's just some random village out in the middle of nowhere, and I don't have it marked on the map because it's not really important, but if you do follow the giant wall, eventually you'll find it. Um, so I do have outlines of where the entire stone wall goes and all that stuff. That's a saw smoke. <laughs> Anyways. Um, on top of the pyramid, I also took, you know, advantage of the, uh, I forgot what they ended up calling that. Oh, I got strength from it. Oh, ho, ho. Oh gosh! Oh, that is the beacon. There we go. Took advantage of the beacon because I, you know, before it was just like pieces of glass with glowstone, just random. I think it looks better than this. For sure. <laughs> um, that's still uninhabited. Um, so in 1.3, all the elevators worked fine, and then. Uh, when they updated to 1.4, and I have a feeling during the update for 1.5, it's going to change the way redstone works again. 
And so I got it working again, but the elevators, like, they're very hard to use now. Um, on the original giant building that's right here that's going to load, there's an actual elevator that goes from the bottom floor to the top floor. And I'll show you that in just a second. Um, this is another big skyscraper I made. For no apparent reason. <laughs> um, I don't know what this is yet. Randomly made it. Haven't decided what I want it to be. Um. Uh oh. You, you see the statue. And now you don't see the statue. <laughs> um, anyway, I'll show you the magical elevator. And I'll show you some stuff I'm working on up there. So, hopefully, if I did this right, it'll work. Nope. Give it a sec. Let's try again. Nope. I don't think it's gonna work. No, nope, I'll just fly up there. Shouldn't be too bad. It's only sometimes that it works. I guess you have to have, you know, a non-recording thing running and have to have everything open for it to actually work. So it doesn't lag anywhere. So anyway, this is what it is. It's basically my house, but I haven't done anything in it yet other than these. These are my command blocks, and so... The idea is, is this is this will work as a hub. And these will send you off to different, um, like mini maps, I guess. So, say for example, Survival Island. You'll show up on this island, and you know the home teleports that way. And there's a pillar of just random ores, and so I mean, you, the idea is to use these items to get to this command block over here that'll teleport you back to the home base to the hub. So once you make it all the way over here, which it doesn't seem that hard, but I mean it would take a while. So then you can teleport out of here and go on to the next one. Um, so they all have different names and stuff and different goals and it's they're pretty interesting. Um, this is I haven't done anything with this one yet. I just finished this one. And then this one's been done for a while. The Fui. Let's use the uh, the jump out area. Why miss the water? Man, look at these mushrooms and stuff underneath those trees. Oh, it's great. So anyway, <laughs> built a giant. You know, I built a basically an exact replica of that building, but it's actually finished on every floor. If you know what that statue is, I mean, go ahead and just spread it, I guess. Um, if people actually say what it is, I'll actually say why I built it and that kind of thing. It'll give you like a little behind the scenes. I'm not sure if you've seen this house the last video or not, but it's it's pretty badass. It's my house. Nine lever combination lock. You know, the whole whole nine yards. Um Oh, well, the, there's the wall again. <laughs> um Where should I show you? Oh I can show you a couple of things I guess. I'll fly over this way. And and just so you know, the mine colony area is right over here. Someday when I release this map, you can go and find the mine the mine colony over here. Maybe I'll leave like a secret chest or something for you to go get this stuff out of. Um. So yeah, that's another NPC village, which the last video ended with me on top of that roof. Then here's my spleef arena. So the last time you seen it, it was unfinished, but now it's completely finished. And I'm not sure if I showed the inside or not, but I'll go and show it really quick. Why not? I busted my ass on this. 
lag spikes. There we go. Oh, lag. You done? Okay, so this is my spleef arena. Got the ref box down there. He'll control when the doors open or when they get closed. So after each round. And then there's also a button that you can press that will activate the blue team for their win or whatever, or the red team for their win. And then it's just standard snow and iron, er, diamond shovels, that kind of thing. Um, sorry about my phone, keep going off. It's Devin texting me. Um... What do you think of the uh, the Minecraft Explorers? Huh? That's pretty badass. You may have noticed that we I fixed my mic, so now you can actually hear me really well. What is going on with all of this lag? <laughs> it, I call shenanigans. Um. So yeah, I haven't gotten around to burying this track yet, or the other track, or there's some tracks over that way, or. They're all over the place. Um, haven't gotten around to burying him yet. So yeah, this is another NPC village. It's very small, and for some reason there's water leaking. We'll just ignore it. So that mine track actually leads off to another one, another NPC village. That from there goes back over to the main Steven Craft area. So I'm going over to an area that I call the City of the Dead. Which it should be right there. Um, that mine track isn't buried yet either. And you can tell that I built it really, really early on because of all of these redstone torches. Because I didn't know how the hell to work that stuff. This didn't make any sense. But yeah, this is the City of the Dead. Um... It's very poorly built, and it has a lot of NPC people living in it. They're all just slammed together. But the good thing is... No, this is the city of the living. Okay, anyway. The good thing is, is that they have all of these market stalls and stuff. So they have some source of income, I guess. Even though nobody comes to visit them. <laughs> So just a hop, skip, and a jump away is another NPC village. Um, and then the wall again. <laughs> um, God, that wall took me forever to build. I hate looking at it. And you may be wondering why it's like built up in the area like that. It's because I wanted it to be level all the way around in the place where I started. It's perfectly flat with the ground, but everywhere else it's like raised up high. Um. Oh yeah, this was my experimentation with uh, if eyes could survive in the desert. And only when it's in the middle of the pond for some reason. <laughs> Other than that, I mean, that's all it made. Um. I guess I'll show you the original spot where I started the wall. Oh, yeah. And all these towers are hollow. There's like... I don't know. I, I, w I would have to guess like 40 or 50 towers total. Yeah, I'm not putting floors and stuff into those. That would take forever. So anyway, here's the big hole again. And my plans for this little island is... It's going to be my house. That's going to be a parkour thing all the way to my house. If you fall, you just die. <laughs> It'll be great. So now we're back at the beginning. Um, 
So at this point, you've seen the majority of what I've accomplished, and it's... Oh my gosh, it's been a blast making this map. And I'll show you the original piece. This segment right here is the original piece, and it's pretty flat with the ground other than on the back part of it, but either way, it's it's flat, and I marked it so it was this piece to that piece, and that's how it was on the wall. <laughs> um, so yeah, you've seen it all so far. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and end it back at the start, Aru. And I'll let you join me for another episode of Stephen Craft later on. Thanks. Have a good day.